A contractor is purchasing some stone tiles for a new patio. Each tile costs $3, and he wants to spend less than $1,000. And it's less than $1,000, not less than or equal to 1000 The size of each tile is one square foot. Write an inequality that represents the number of tiles he can purchase with a $1,000 limit. And then figure out how large the stone patio can be. So let x, let x be equal to the number of tiles purchased, tiles purchased. And so the cost of purchasing x tiles, they're going to be three dollars each, so it's going to be three x. So three x is going to be the total cost of purchasing the tiles, and he wants to spend less than one thousand dollars. Three x is how much he spends if he buys x tiles. It has to be less than one thousand. Dollars. We say it right there. If it was less than or equal to, we'd have a little equal sign right there. So if we want to solve for x, how many tiles can he buy? We can divide both sides of this inequality by 3. And because we're dividing or multiplying, you can imagine we're multiplying by 1 third or we're dividing by 3, because this is a positive number, we do not have to swap the inequality sign. So we are left with x is less than 1,000 over 3, which is 333 and 1 third. So he has to buy less than 333 and 1 third tiles. That's how many tiles. And each tile is 1 square foot. So if he can buy less than 333 and 1 third tiles, then the patio has to be, so the size of the patio, size of the patio, also has to be less than 333 and 1 third square feet. Feet squared, or we could say square feet. And we're done.